Hi, my name is Paul from Physics High, and today I'd like to give you an overview of Module 7, The Nature of Light, but in particular, the fourth inquiry question, which deals with relativity. And a quick reminder that anything that I produce here will be available in a principal version, and the link is in the description below. Now this module is divided up into four inquiry questions. The first one is looking at what is light? The second inquiry question says what evidence supports the wave model of light and what predictions can be made using this model? In essence, we're interested in the wave model. The next question says what evidence supports the particle model of light and what are the implications of this evidence for the development of the quantum model of light? In essence, we are interested in what we refer to as the particle model. And finally, we're looking at consequences. The question that is asked is, how does the behavior of light affect the concepts of time, space, and matter? In essence, we're dealing with the concept of relativity. And now finally, we come to the concept of relativity. In other words, we're answering the question, how does the behavior of light affect time, space, and matter? And so here we're dealing with really Einstein's special theory of relativity. And we come with two key postulates, that the speed of light is always the same for whoever observes it. In other words, the speed of light is constant for all observers. The second postulate says that the laws of physics are invariant in initial frames of reference. In other words, you can't do an experiment to verify that your frame of reference is moving. But out of that comes a number of consequences, and they relate to the concept of time changing. We call this time dilation. We talk about length changing or length contraction, and we also have momentum dilation. So in other words, time, length, and momentum, when measured by two different people in different frames of reference, will end up getting different results. So those are the consequences of those two postulates. Another particular consequence out of that comes E equals mc squared. In other words, that energy and matter are in essence the same thing. They can be interchanged where the constant of proportionality is c squared. So in other words, energy and can turn into mass and mass can turn to energy because basically in essence they are equivalent. But then what you need to appreciate is that out of those two postulates we will have to ask the question, well, what is the evidence that supports any of these predictions by Albert Einstein. And there are a number of key experiments. There's the experiments involved the muons. I will encourage you to watch my video on evidence for time dilation uh, for greater detail. But we have muons, which supports the concept of time dilation and length contraction. And we have the hatfield keating experiment, which verifies time dilation. We have particle accelerators. And particle accelerators verify the momentum dilation. And lastly, we have cosmological studies or cosmological evidence, which again verifies time dilation and length contraction. And then there's also an application as well as evidence to support the concept of E equals MC squared, where we're talking at annihilation experiments where you have particles and their antiparticles annihilate. We also have the sun, that is, the sun is fusing hydrogen, it's converting into helium. There is a mass difference and that can explain therefore the energy production of the sun. And finally, even ordinary reactions like combustion or conventional reactions can be explained by using E equals mc squared. So that is the nature of light. We start off as, well, what is it? Give me the evidence for the wave model. What about the evidence for the particle model? And now that we understand what light is, what are the consequences of the speed of light being constant? Well, I hope that it helps you understand this particular inquiry question and as it fits in the other inquiry questions within this particular module. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Put a comment down below if this has been helpful for you. And please consider supporting me by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care and bye for now.